Good uh, afternoon, I guess. Uh, give me just one second to check something, and then I'll get started. Oh, yeah, I should probably show off the deck. Uh, I named it after a series of Villain's Path videos that I was going to work on, called Loss of the Spark. Uh, basically to make fun of War of the Spark as much as possible. I ended up making a decent Ravnica constructed deck during one of the events that happened throughout the month of June that involved the uh, guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Spark uh, sets. Uh, Warlord Hank is more to credit for the existence of this deck, although he originally did a mono Orzo build. Or Basically, both black and white as the only colors needed. I had to choose between blue, red, and green because I didn't have, uh, I didn't have four Dreadhorde invasions and some other cards I'm sorely missing from the Hank build. I'm going to show it off in ranked because this deck has been performing successfully even, if, even against other players outside of Ravnica Constructed, so... I'm just gonna see how this goes. Sorry, you've been usurped, and... Yeah, let's play. Because I want rewards, and I expect bronze to silver to be easy. We'll see, though. Occasionally I lose to Mono White going wide, and a couple other decks of note. Alright, let's get started, I guess. Here we are. Also, I need to get good sleeves for this one. I have War of the Spark sleeves that I got, but eh, not really feeling them. I thought about getting that Magic 20, 2020 bundle for sleeves, but uh, that ended up not feeling great. wait for them to have removal. Usually, if they're mono-white, they have... Oh, great. So I have to block. Well, good thing I have the blockers for it. Okay. Oh, and it has trample now. Fantastic. Um, let's just throw all of them at that sage and shrug about the others. Have Amara in here. 
instead of one of the other cards. I mean, that would be an improvement, because then my mana cost would not be horrible. <coughs> and I could repeat Recursion on it. It would definitely make running the... CMC I've got six. This replays me, or not replay. This deck, this match is being kept, even if I somehow lose, which I'm liable to. Looks like I'm about to lose, but I'm not gonna scoop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And I can still block the sage and let the rest run through. have much of an out for things that go as wide as me. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep at the... Well, I could probably apply pressure and get something off of Midnight Reaper for lifelink, but uh, I've been kind of on the defensive the whole game. Pretty much all of the game has been defensive. Hmm. Well... these guys, and block one of these guys, and yeah, that should do it. Mainstay. Uh, yeah, basically, I would replace the witnesses with. Uh... There you go. All right, let's 
let's do this one last stand. And then I should probably brush up on my rank skills. Or somehow get Amaras in this deck. Because they're quite useful. Yeah, also... Yeah, well... We'll see how this goes. Uh... Done. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh, well, let's do this. Or 20, and then 22. Oh, yeah, and they've got the Pledge of Unity. This would also be really cool. I guess over Flourish, but Flower is also really good. I feel like Flower is an early game card, and Flourish is neat. If I'm gonna get Flourish, I may as well get uh, Pledge of Unity because it's cheaper, mana cost wise, I mean. Uh, Wait, are they really doing that? Okay, um... Let's go ahead and block that. issues. That or this deck is pretty much my weakness and because of matchmaking it's showing me this weakness pretty full on. but it's the best shot I've got. And I could just move to... No, but... It was worth it. It's, uh, 24. This was going to be a hero of Precinct 1 deck. But uh, I couldn't decide on a second or a third color after green-white. Like Captain Sisse and other green white cards were uh, isolated from me. Let's do this again. Twitch chat in front of me in case anybody speaks. Usually when I do Magic Arena, that's not the case, but eh, it's whatevs. Oh, 
This is actually a good, well, not great pan, but I'll take it. I should probably get some gates in here. Golgari guild gates and Celestia guild gates would probably do me a huge favor in terms of mana... Uh, mana flexibility. Since I'm playing three colors, I mean, that should be a given. Uh, I'm just gonna apply pressure early. Or you can do that. Okay. Well then, this is dandy. Why would I attack with this? Yet. Okay, well, while well, we're at it. got a combat trick. Oh, but you use it on that. What are you doing? Oops. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, is this another oops or? No, that's probably deliberate. I'm not in act any actual danger. Block that. Patch it through. Need the defensive utilities. Alright. Now they gotta decide between finishing me off, which they can do pretty smoothly if they've got a combat trick with the healer hawks. Or they could do that, I guess. I 
forgot to edit in the gates. At least four Golgari gates would be nice. Oh well. We've got a good opening hand. Or at least I consider Banehounds a good opening hand. Right. This guy, this guy, and... Uh, let's... This is probably mermaids. Or merfolk. Merfolk. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I'm screwed. But we'll see. Yeah, I, I honestly wish I had more confidence in myself and my dex abilities. Um, let that through. We're about to get board presents. I guess I'll attack just to see if it works. If it doesn't, then I still gain a life since lifelink. Oh, yeah, they didn't want to preserve their resources. Okay. soldiers in. We are primarily just... We are essentially a Zergling rush deck that recovers life lost from getting hit by beefier entities. At least that's the idea. And then with something like Midnight Reaper or Liliana the Dreadhorde General, we turn our uh, assets into profit off of card draw. Turning this into a Super Friends deck based off of some cards in 2020 that helped me, but uh, I guess there are plenty enough. I would have to get a lot more wild cards off of uh, off of various uh, sets to finish that off. I do have Oath of Kaya, so that could work. At least two of them. They kind of help with the survivability of my shenanigans. So I guess that could work. I have an idea of how to do this. Just... What? Why did you scoop? I didn't have. All right. Well. I guess as long as we keep getting free packs off of dailies and weeklies, we can probably make enough uh, wild cards that I could fix up this deck to be way better than it currently is. Way better. Um, yeah. I mean, I generally just spent the gold on drafts. Targets for 
stuff like finality and flourish. But that would just turn into another gate deck. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Gate decks are generally reliable. Because who doesn't want mana flexibility? Uh, I need to be able to block with anything, really. Or I can let it all through, because first strike anyway, and... Uh, let's just go ahead and... I like March of the Multitude's later game, but sometimes I get it early and can still cast it for... Hopefully more than one soldier. It's kind of what I'm thinking about replacing with Amara in general. Letting that all through. I'll recover my uh, losses of life in just a bit, actually. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Midnight Reaper. I strongly resonate with the lore of this card in a bajillion ways. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're still giving me a free card, my guy! Alright, I need blockers, because I'm going to die if I don't. Let's just block that, because I don't mind losing the Hunted Witness. I interpret it as the witness training themselves to not be destroyable as easily. But, uh. Alright, and, uh. Yep. Oh, uh, Cruel Celebrant is what we don't mind uh, our forces dying for, because we can just get our life back. Oh. That's great. Alright, well, uh, since we want the Soren Markov to stay alive, we'll just let that through. I could just Doomed the center, and oh, you gotta be. <sighs> oh, you could have killed Soren. All right, well, um, let's punish. some guys at him and see if it sticks. Oh, what a neat quinky dink. I'm gonna get some card draw. Yeah, they've got a mass. 
I mean, why wouldn't they? They're in black red. Hero can block one of these things, hopefully. Maybe kill the initiate. initiate. The zombie army would be nice. Oh. Sack outlets. What? You have me, dead to rights. Well, had past tense. Invasions. And welcome to die. Good game. All right. We need to fix our mana base so that we can win more consistently. Yeah, all right. Now let's, uh... Ooh! All right, uh, Dex. Let's go and, uh, fix our land base. Let's just go here. Gatekeeper Rams and another Amara. Uh, gatekeeper. Or Gatebreaker. Gatebreaker Ram. I only need like two of these, but at least we have something that can fend off uh, greater threats. And then I guess we need another way to get Amara. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, let's 
make this into a formidable uh, asset. And then we'll uh, completely wreck face, I guess. With a more flexible mana pool. The world is my oyster. Breaker Ram in general is a really good card to put in for finality, because, yeah, two plus one, plus one counters. Wipe everything off the board, especially my own guys, would give Cruel Celebrant triggers. Can't go wrong with that. Eh, we'll see how it actually fares in practice. Oh, that's great. Um, me. So, that was nice. We need another, uh, yeah, let's pick out a planes. I might replace the flowers and flourishes with, uh, that other card. Now that I'm looking at it, flowers not as useful if I'm not running mostly forests and planes. And flourish is just too expensive in its own right. Alright, block that. They have to use up mana to, oh... Alright, well, uh, thanks for the life drain. It will definitely help in the... I guess I could find and get the two things. <sighs> I wanted to be able to cast this for a bit more, but... I'm letting them through. So drop that. Find. we can block the skeleton archer comfortably. I could also replace the flower and... Yeah, no, the flower and flourish has gotta go. Now that I don't have enough plains and forests to pick from, and I could replace whatever's left of the plains and forests with... Uh, Gateway plazas, assuming that the swamps don't get eaten. Which they would, logically. I am playing Abzon to its most logical conclusion. train on me. Or that. <sighs> I'm sorry, that line is just... I hope you washed your hands first. Why would Liliana care about that? Why would she care? 
here. Alright, uh, it's just, it's just something, enough things to, uh, March of multitudes is at instant speed. I can just put more guys onto the board. More celebrant triggers. And yeah, let's let's get five, well, six. I misclicked, but that should be enough to block these. Alright, welcome to five guys. <laughs> How can we help you? <laughs> what is that? Uh, I'll just send them all there. Alright. Here goes everything. That's ten cruel celebrant triggers. Um I can understand why you'd scoop. Although, that kind of still annoys me, I guess. Eight hundred and fifty gold. Let's go ahead and get another pack. Since it's actually narratively important. Alright, there you go. Come on, Amara. Let's do on. Ah, well, hmm, that's not bad either. Kind of not what I wanted. Uh, I don't want to use the fault progress until I get way more than one mythic rare wild card. The rares and uncommon wild cards are okay too, I guess. Alright, let's take these out. Let's go. War of the Spark. Uncommons. In these colors. Oh, okay, so it wasn't collected after all. Pledge of Unity. Craft all. Alright, now we've got a way better plus one, plus one thingy, and since we'll have creatures on the board for real, uh, we gain a life for them. And then, let's just go ahead and land, suggest... Oh, okay. Oh, right. Uh, let's just take that off. That, that filter off. Okay. Uh, let's put in the... Oh. Oh. Now let's try that. Um... We have four gateway plazas. Four Selesnias, four Golgarius, four Ojoves, two Forests, four Swamps, two Plains. Probably I'll want a Mana Fix later, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Definitely want to replace a Gatebreaker Ram with an Amara at some point, but uh, yeah, no, this is, this is good enough. For Bronze, at least. Right around Bronze 2, I might take a break from streaming, but eh. We'll see how this goes. Is anybody even in the chat? Okay, well, maybe they'll be impressed. Maybe.
and with enough early game uh, health increase, I can play Dreadhorde Invasion comfortably. This isn't... Oh, jeez. Alright. A mass one. Uh, let's just bring it on. I guess. Don't have much else to go with. Maybe I put way too much value on the life gain of Pledge of Unity, but eh, it helps me. So, I'm willing to test the card out. I feel like that's what Brawn should be for for some peeps. Or is for some peeps. Eh, hard to tell. Swing in, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, I'm in for a beating. Uh, let's see how big the beating is. Um, yeah. spells. You don't. Okay. I'm not sure what I was afraid of. But, uh, yeah. Alright. If I can make it to silver. The hedgehog. What, what kind of joke is that? Um. Yeah, well... On magic, the, the stream, so I'm not really confusing anybody. Well, not in the traditional sense. I confuse people on a regular basis. for the free land, I guess. I'll just put that out there. What was that? I have two more of these in my hand. 
Alright, uh, just as just, just, uh, proof of concept. Two more. guys. Why not? Um, next. And yeah, they don't have any res they don't have any combat tricks they can respond with. It might have some removal, but uh, if they use it, then midnight. Oh, hi. Thank you for that. Um, that is amazing. Guess I'll just. Two soldiers start swinging again. Is this Rainbow Lich? This looks like Rainbow Lich. Or at least the lanterns convince me it is. Alright. Maybe it's Sultai something. And I've got... Oh, perfect. Alright, so... Uh, free plus two. Decline. Just, just, just give me the free plus two loyalty. At this point. I mean, I could probably part with one of these, but... favor for some indistinguishable reason. go for a Dr. Pepper. I don't think I'll ever be sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but the idea is funny enough. Oh, well, that's just dandy. Why would you do that? Okay, no. Alright. I probably could have just kept the cool celebrant, but eh. this. Sacrifice the rest. Why would you do that? Oops. I agree with you. That, that, that was an oops. Um, you probably could have had me for a couple turns more. Gotta give you props on this deck, though. This is actually good stuff. Is it four colors? GG. Oh. That wasn't what I wanted, but I'll, uh, just keep 
going, I guess. Decidedly not radical. Is this one blue? Hmm. Well, if nothing, I like the name One Man Horde. Oh, great. Hi. Disconnected OBS studio. Great. I don't think I'll be able to recover from that. Well, we'll see. Man, that is a lot of noise that just came into my ears. Um, alright, well, um, while we're here... Bane Hound. Big truck. something else of uh, mono blue tempo and that was the counter spell my everything and watch me suffer horribly um yeah but instead it's this uh no we gotta stay on the defensive they've got flyers and yeah Things are guaranteed to end badly otherwise. Oh, is this an enter the battlefield deck? Yeah, that makes sense.
Yep, I'm dead. But it was a fun ride. Wow. It lasted. I'm pretty sure I still lose to Mono Blue Tempo. This is a Tempo deck. Yep, this is very much a Tempo deck. Climb to bronze is unmolested, which is a good thing. All right, uh, let's just continue onward, I guess. <sighs> this is actually surprisingly good. Of a hand, I mean. Um, yeah, let's keep, I guess. Golly, three gateway plazas. Aren't I just lucky? Um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Am I up against... Uh, no. I guess there was that one structure deck that uh, was around at the beginning of Arena that was pretty good. Uh, this That would be this one. With the skeletons and the sack outlets. Surprisingly enough, I could probably fit in some Ravenous Harpies if I wanted to, but I try to make a deck that rotates into standard comfortably. Funnily enough, when I was making a Hero of Precinct 1 deck, I wanted to call it Bullet Station Zone for funny reasons. I decided that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, yay, Sack Outlet. Um, Dreadhorde Invasion. Plaza. Yeah, Alright, uh, no. Yes, I'm gonna totally crash into a Spark Reaper at no value. Whew. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, lay it on me. And then I will recover. Hopefully. Well, that gives me an idea of something to put in the deck. Okay, I am basically screwed. Um, unless... Uh, yeah, I just gotta... block the skeleton, maybe, or the reaper, before they sack it. Oh, isn't this just fun? Okay. Okay. I think I'm dead. Duh. While I'm at it, I'm gonna get some life off this whole interaction. spared myself with the Pledge of Unity, but, uh, yeah, I decided to go this route. Probably should have played the Reaper to get some draw off it, but then I would lose life, too much life.
let's see you deal with that. Well, you probably have a good dealing mechanism in place, but I have a lot of blockers now. Bring it, bring it on. <sighs> I think I wanted to make a video earlier about the structure decks in Magic Arena, but decided that was a bad idea. Because most of them are genuinely awful. <laughs> or they just weren't interesting to talk about. Cruel celebrant in there somewhere. Yeah, GG. Nothing else I could just use my Magic the Gathering videos as practice for talking way more than I have normally done in my playthroughs. Because I'm sure that would actually engage with people enough that I could do something with that. Right. Oh, yeah, they go. F I think, yeah, they're going first. Ouch. 
that's just great. got blockers for next turn that will die horribly but I can at least use two of them <clears throat> right mono green stompy very stompy I forgot that's still a thing right gonna get me past Galta, but I can block it. Can't block the Steel League Champion, though. There's a thing in Magic Arena called roping that some people do when they're very obviously on the ropes and they deliberately stall a person's time. I saw Warlord Hank mention something about it in a video where he was playing a uh, new Karn, the newest Karn, against somebody who was clearly stalling for time. I kind of don't get it. I don't get why people would purposefully let the timer run runneth over. I considered using Dread Malkins. I didn't see a point in using them. It's about to be worse. Oh, no, it's not. If 
they had one more mana, it would be. Another one, I guess. Soren just dies anyway. Should have probably seen that coming. Should probably get these guys higher values to block things consistently. Or that. Oh, okay. Wait for the new Ajani that has the Ajani's Pride Mate as tokens. kills Vraska anyway. Fire sheep. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my next turn pegged. Unless they have removal for my ram, in which case, screw. But do they have removal? They seem so keen on buffing creatures that. What a neat winky dink. Alright, um... Yeah, Soren can just plus one for... Yep. Oh, okay, that... So they've got an Aristocrats deck, too. That's actually pretty nice! Alright, so I'm gonna take full advantage of this, and... Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, kill this. They pretty much have to block. With something. Okay, good, good stuff. I'm gonna kill the dragon. 
Red Malkin first. Did I actually survive this? Well, I'm, I'm astonished. Alright, let's, let's see how this plays out. on the adversary of tire amps. Or at least I would. Pretty much have me next turn. Alright, let's keep going. There aren't many changes I can make without using things. That's pretty much it. Admittedly, Sometimes I'm just up against better decks. But, uh, yeah, let's do this. hasn't been doing too great or else I'd start on a book review of some book done by a guy from the Ruby community. It, I want to say that book's good, but that would be outright dishonest. So, uh, I, I have a lot to talk about about it. And I could. So, that's what I aim to do. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through that. Shame about those uh, lands. I think they're replaced by temples as of tomorrow. Well, I will replace them, but that's a whole nother story. I kind of 
hope they bring back sagas in a later set. Or even just make new ones for uh, Commander. should wait until uh, it's their turn before playing it, but admittedly I was just gonna probably summon a cruel celebrant. <sighs> if you gain five or more life this turn, okay. I don't quite have the mana yet. a good way to get the life that you need. <sighs> okay. their deck is better constructed. And they probably have game anyway. <laughs> yeah, they've got game. I hope to see some of these cards in 20. 
just because they actually led to some interesting deck concepts. I think I will because uh, the people programming Arena don't want to have to put more cards in. So, a lot of things are bound to be reprinted. Because lazy programming. Cards are probably going to gain or lose value accordingly. Okay, uh, kind of got a block, but uh, all right, yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, no, never mind. I was going to gain more life, but. They're gonna just swing with everything next turn. <sighs> and the screen remains black. Like my primary mana pool. I, I don't think I have another uh, simile or analogy for it. Oh, or is it actually? Okay. Uh, cool. Waiting for the server. Circle, circle, circle. Yeah. My internet might not like it. We'll see how this goes. These aren't O's, but then what are they? safely block those monsters. And I can do it again next turn. What luck! Block the obvious target. Uh, the rest... Are let through. Alright, uh, let's see. Reaper, Unity. Reaper, ah, Unity. Crack back? Swing with the life linkers. That should about do it. Kill the mentors. Well, oh. Yeah, they have to die. Not much I could do otherwise. <laughs>
was that in blue? getting somewhere. That or I don't think they drew into their combat tricks. Yeah, it doesn't look like. Good game. Uh, yeah, I... Oh. Uh... Okay, well... Been at it for... I've been at it for... A little longer than... I've been at it for an hour and a half. Um, I kind of want to get to silver and then edit after. If only because... Yeah, I need like six wins to get to silver. And if my games go as well as they did that one one, I can just wait till tomorrow to upload this in full, because I don't think there's any bad part, except maybe the one where there was a momentary screen fading to black for too long uh, to really edit and make it any better than it would be. I think a main flaw in Hero of Precinct 1 decks is you have to have a wide array of control and other outlets to keep your cards alive. Because without her popping tokens every so often, you would lose horribly. Is this an artifact deck? I'm impressed. Well, yeah, I'm in, I'm impressed. I'm gonna wait for the artifact to drop. Or 
they both gain flying and I lose a lot of life. No? No. What are you waiting for? show off Amara at some point. Yay! Alright, uh, let's just attack with everything. I get chump blocked. They lose. They get life drained. I actually do something this, this round. they've got an artifact and can brutally attack me for 10. Okay. Or, like, brutal attack me for 9. Okay. Yeah. I think they were waiting for that to happen. I thought about including Fountain of Renewal in this deck, at least as a counterbalance to Dreadhorde Invasion, but uh, I've got a lot of lifelink outlets. I just need to draw into lands. need blockers. Unless you've got to settle the wreckage in your hand, but then that just gives me a bunch of lands. Um, yeah. Okay, I have to attack now. That's just fantastic. Okay. Roll the tape. The tape of this being a bad decision. No, you have a settled wreckage in your hand. Or, well, I deduce correctly based on the. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> and I'm dead before I can make any use of any of them. <sighs> yeah. Guess I'll just throw one of the pledges away. Yeah, I'm dead. Mm, no, I'm, I'm not finishing this off. Get 
one damage out. Okay, we're good. Be good-ish, I guess. And I've got another Reaper in my hand, so I can just play that. Alright. things first, Dreadhorde Invasion, second thing second, Amara Soul the Cord, and I guess that's it, really. You've got an answer for this too, don't you? Let me guess. Oh, the sleeves. Oh, yeah, you can pre-order that, I guess. I, I don't want to.
mean, that's probably a good card in tandem with something like Daffriel, Shadow Mage. Could have had my whole hand taken away. So let's take care of this, and this, and while we're at it, let's turn Amara into a vampire. Yep, okay, let's do this. Oh, that's really nice. So I basically get in some damage for free and get cards in my hand. Oh, that's real nice. Please don't stall. Please don't stall. Please don't stall. Stop stalling. Okay, there we go. quickly. Or at least I keep calling them duels. Because of, uh, yeah. Had Yu-Gi-Oh on the brain until... do something this turn. Alright, um, you, you good there, Chief? Got a blocker for Bantu. Well, two of them. I guess that's what they were counting on. I can also just let it through since I have enough life. Okay, that's even better. See you soon when I, uh. Yep, okay. I guess I can. That's nice, ma'am. But this is a Panera. If only I was running red. Oh well. you guys in a bit to continue this. Alright, and we're back. Hopefully this 
time I'll just finish this off. I want to be able to... Well, it would be nice to get Chandra awakened at Inferno. But, um... I kind of don't like this card back. And Chandra isn't exactly my favorite walker of all time in red. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move on and finish bronzed off. I'm not expecting anybody to come in for magic. Uh, so, yeah. Let's just, yeah. There's not much else to these later matches, I don't think. We'll see what happens. I might have to hardcore edit this video so that way... Yeah. Alright. In the meantime, though, Dane Hound. Go ahead and get an attack off. Alright. gets reprinted for Magic 2020, but we'll see. Is this just tempo? ability will be useful since I think a uh, Reaper got dropped in there too. Putting pressure on my opponent is fun. <clears throat> Another counter spell. In before they have all counter spells. Oops, all counter magic. But then how do they win? Right, I forgot about him. Uh, let's just go ahead and pop her. And do that. Then fine finality. Hopefully I get a land this next turn. Were put in the, the yard. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. Alternatively, I just kill everything. got a four off of Jin. Alright, first card, survey says. Hornswoggle. <clears throat> survey says. Why do you have so many counter spells?
almost wanted to sacrifice Cruel Celebrant just to get some damage off, but I wanted a bit more long-term action. Winky-dink. Well, that's funny. Uh, I was hoping for a sword in Markov to get some of my creatures back, but... Uh, CMC. Alright, time to uh, kill it. those instants because of Terramancer. Yeah, or Terramander? Yeah, not Terramancer, Terramander. That would definitely make sense. Oh, great. The sadistic choice. Have Frosca be susceptible to something, or, uh... Oh, that's just... Well, if nothing else... Creates tokens that Vraska eats up. I gain life, draw cards. Oh, is this Mill? This is Mill. Or it's got a Mill sub theme. Let me just check something. I wonder where my Sorens are at. All two of them. Got no method of blocking her. 
or blocking for her. Shoot. They're not gonna attack anyway? Oh wait, they're gonna mill. Yep. Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and do it. Cool celebrant gets a trigger off. I like the recursion. Yeah. Um, nah. I pretty much just win at this point. Because all four of their Tempest gins are down and persistent petitioners to even that my library anymore has to tap to do that. In before persistent petitioners. Good game. Good game. Persistent Partitioners was banned in one of the things I tried to do for a uh, War of the Spark event, uh, Pauper. Most of my other decks just became a variation of Scuttlegate or Turbo, which I considered running in here, since it's a multicolored card, but it's too high of a CMC to reliably run without ramp. So, yeah, ended up doing something else instead. Bunch of vampires. And they scoop. Alright, one down, four more to go. gonna put hero down. No. Not yet. I'm gonna give it a few more turns first. Nope. Gonna make a board for it. Uh, next turn. 
next turn. Then I'll gain some life back. Or they'll shock me. Or shock one of my guys. Yeah, we'll see. Ooh, nice. Guess I'll block one of the instigators. Getting some crack back. Then I can find out. Oh. Well, she did. Alright, well. Block one of these. Block that. Alright, well. This is some aggression. they can do about that. get through me. But they won't. Yep. As I thought. Alright, so... Pledge of Unity! I've got lifelink. What do you get? I guess you could just block MRO with all of them. Yep. As foretold. Alright, well. Oh. Okay, well that 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 ends them. If oh wait, do they have a response? Nope. Okay. I'm on to bronze one. Some call me I'm trying to be Christina V. Or maybe I am Christina V in this artwork. Maybe? Eh, we'll see. I might have to look the Wanderer up. But that voice was definitely Christina V-like. Which is a compliment, as one as someone of my villainous caliber is capable of. But it is a compliment all the same. Chaos Realm Dreams. swing in anyway, because I gain a life. Although I considered replacing the Bane Hounds with Fountains of Renewal for a longer term form of life gain. Oh, me gonna nosh and me gonna bosh. Or, or neither of those options. Okay. Um... Yeah, may as well start. 
could block everything. Except that, I guess. No and no. I guess I can just take a bunch of damage. Sorry there, buddy. Well. Now everything has trample. I see no point in blocking any of that.
No. Does it really, though? I have no method of fighting off these chupacabras. I guess I could sack the bay hound, bay hound to stop them from molting. Or those crash into each other. That's better, actually. the best thing I could do. I'm sure there's an argument that could be made that I could have recovered from that, but no. at, th at that point I just lost. I feel, at least. Um, surprised if that was played right now. Not uh, in the slightest. Or they could do that with their only valid target being Pledge of Unity. I mean, that would have been a card I would have easily discarded. Alright, well, time to get in 5 damage. 
or they block it. Depending on what they want to do, actually. murder them. Alright, well. <sighs> They're going to play Bolas. Or they'll play something else. I mean, they put down Interplanar Beacon, so if their play isn't to make Nicol Bolas that force me to, to, to exile something, then what are they doing? <laughs> Get some good ones. a lot of combat tricks. These Pledge of Unities are getting some mileage today. But, uh, Running four of them is not a good idea. Or that can happen.
heroic reinforcements. I'm thinking of heroic reinforcements. Or they could do that. And that. Sacrifice one of the Bane Hounds. Now I can... I'm getting mileage off this. Guess I just lose, basically. Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and take care of this and this. And I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Not surprisingly, dead. Well, not, not dead yet, but it's going to take a lot for me to recover. edits from Magic 2020 to make it past silver in the first place. Uh, yeah, so one more ought to do it, and then that'll be that, I guess. Then maybe I'll play Path of Exile or something that will actually net an audience. Not that this doesn't, but uh, every time I've streamed Magic Arena, I've 
found myself completely alone. Probably with good reason. Is this the Rakdos? Yeah, this is the Rakdos structure deck. Alright, well... Pathetically, my last uh, duel of the day. Yep, that that would be the thing to do, I guess. And I'm, well, gonna play this, get my Bane Hounds back, rinse and repeat, I guess. Mm. I have to discard one of these pledges. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Mostly for mana cost, and also the fact that I'd rather have creatures to with which to make Pledge of Unity actually usable. Alright. Put out two of these guys. Expect to let the Brawl Basher attack me. I do miss this structure deck, but there's not much to it other than it is aggressive. It runs too many things that require sacrifice and not enough token generation, so you would have to run white in order to make it usable on that front. Creature. Yep. And I'm gonna let it all through. They've probably got another active treason. treason. <clears throat> well, no, probably not. But they do have something that can fly over me regardless. Give Brawl Bash le less uh, things to sacrifice. Wish I wasn't land screwed, but eh. They just win anyway. Not too thrilled about that, honestly. Although losing to somebody named Galaxy Dragon after having done a Yu-Gi-Oh! video last time is pretty amusing. At least it, it amuses me. For that reason exclusively. Now what are they gonna do? I mean, all they really need to do is beef up Ravenous Harpy and fly over me, or Gravewalker can just kill me. They pretty much have it made, regardless of what they do. Yeah, I can't block that. This isn't my last duel. I have to do another one. 
and then I would end it off there. Just due to a mixture of exhaustion and I want to do something else. Uh, a Gretzigo and Zombieland Saga sound appetizing right about now. Might watch one of those. As of the stream, I'm already a good way through Season 2 when I like it, so... Mm -hmm. Not much else to say, really. Oh, cool. I remember Growth Chamber Guardian. It was in a lot of people's decks when it came to every turn proliferate or amass. if you've got something that uses plus one plus one counters. Yeah. That minigame was... or... that event that week was not fun. Granted, a lot of them weren't. Momir Vig plus Planeswalkers was... cringy. Really. I'll just let it resolve. Well, might have to let them attack me. Not particularly thrilled by that, but I have absolutely no choice in the matter. I think adding proliferate to stuff is kind of a mistake. Since that just power creeps near everything that this trio of sets was trying to do. I may as well use one of these while I still can. than enough blockers to life drain you. And then some. Alright, well, if you want to play that way, batter up. More things, apparently. Alright, time to activate for... I expect to... Be run over by reindeer out of a lack of anything else. Uh -huh. Block. Everything is blocked.
stay on the defensive. Watch them, uh, life drain them. Get life drained, I guess. I'm waiting for them to have something with trample. Or that gives everything trample. Or they can just... Di Do that. Now, the sadistic choice. And it ended up not mattering. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. That that's all. Well, I rank up the silver for now, and... Alright, since it might behoove me to actually continue this deck at some point off-screen, I'll do that. But now I gotta go get the... Let's just see what happens. I mean, I'm used to anticlimaxes. But, uh, maybe something interesting will come along. Well, it was interesting, but it wasn't Amara entering my deck. Oh well. Well, and the, the second copy of Amara would have been nice. Can I actually move, please? I want to access the deck. Is my connection... Maybe the screen was just freezing for some odd reason. Alright, so... I will have to edit this to include Magic 20 cards in order to continue it, but uh, here's Loss of the Spark Part 3. As it is right now, I could take a screenshot of everything and just... Yeah. Yeah, 